Hello, I'm John Bachman. Welcome to this Newsmax Now update. In Vienna today, Secretary of State John Kerry slammed Hamas for backing out of an Egyptian-sponsored ceasefire with Israel. Kerry also backed Israel and its right to defend itself from militant rocket fire. Also in Vienna today, the Secretary of State wrapped up a series of meets with his Iranian counterpart, Javad Zarif. The two leaders continued negotiations on Iran's controversial nuclear program. Kerry said significant gaps remain between the two sides, but he also acknowledged Iran's right to operate a peaceful nuclear power program so long as the Islamic Republic can make the world feel secure that they will never develop a nuclear weapon. Now back to Gaza. Israeli airstrikes resumed today after Hamas rejected that ceasefire. Israel held off for more than six hours on air raids overnight while the ceasefire was briefly in place. So far today, Hamas has fired dozens of rockets into Israel, and those airstrikes have returned fire. Tensions between police and supporters of a cop killer in Jersey City are mounting. This after a makeshift memorial dedicated to the gunman showed up outside his home. That slain police officer is 23-year-old Melvin Santiago. He was shot in the head while responding to an armed robbery call. The cop killer was then shot by police who arrived on the scene after the initial shooting. Now about that memorial, it's equipped with empty liquor bottles and messages that read, quote, rest in peace, or rest easy rather, thug in peace. The suspect's widow told a New Jersey TV station that her husband should have taken more cops down with him. Jersey City's mayor calls the memorial disgusting. I can't express how hard it is to see a, um, a body of a police officer come in to the Jersey City Medical Center and have his mother um, identify that body and just keep repeating the badge number and his name that it's not possible. Sorry about that. The mayor went on to add that residents who put out the, the memorial do not express the views of the city. I'm John Bachman. We'll have more news ahead. Another Newsmax Now update. Now here's Steve Malsberg with the Steve Malsberg Show, live from New York. Thank <laughs> you.